Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you're concerned with long-term food storage, one of the ingredients you may want to make sure that you're stockpiling is salt. Salt is something that we're always hearing in the American diet. We have too much of it, but that's because a lot of the foods that we eat are processed. We go out to eat, we buy things that are already pre-made, and they're loaded with sodium. If you intend to do most of your cooking from scratch and preparing your own foods that you uh, grow or raise or hunt, then one of the things you need to make sure that you include in your diet is some salt because salt is something that our bodies require for survival. If you do any kind of pickling, brining, drying, Salt is especially something that you want to make sure that you have more of than somebody who doesn't do any of that kind of preparation. It's recommended that we store seven pounds of salt per person for our family members, which seems like an awful lot of salt. When you consider that each package of salt is about 26 ounces, which is a little more than a pound and a half, you need about five of these per person. I purchased these at the store for 67 cents each. So it's very little amount of money to store a necessary food supplement in our diet. One reason I decided to store more salt was I was reading about the contamination of the water in Kachemak Bay, which is in Alaska, which is not far from where I live. They're discovering that they're are many of the creatures that live in the sea in that area are dying. They're coming up with um, unusual diseases, unusual algae blooms, and they're concerned that perhaps there's a contamination in the sea. Well, then I was reading that in the Vietnam area, they are also finding that there's contamination in the sea, and people there are stockpiling salt. Most of the salt comes from the sea and people are concerned that if the sea is contaminated, then the salt will also be contaminated. So it seemed to me like it was a proper time to stockpile something to make sure that I have enough so that no matter what happens, I'm going to have enough salt for my family. It's cheap and easy to store. Some people say you can store the salt in its original container and that nothing can happen to it. Well, I'd be the first one to tell you that that is not very good advice. The packages are cardboards. If any moisture gets in it, your salt will be ruined. I also had a friend who had their pantry infested with pantry bugs. Now, you would think the bugs are not interested in the salt, but they got into everything, including the salt, and it was all ruined and needed to be thrown away. I don't think you want to stockpile food and find then after all of your expense and effort that it is not usable. So one of the things that you can do is take a canning jar, pour in the salt, and simply put on a lid. You don't need to do anything else. You're trying to seal off the air. The other thing that I did was I found that I could get a free five gallon bucket at the grocery store and I could put 10 of these salt containers right into the five gallon bucket, put on a lid, it's sealed up from critters, and it's also free from moisture. I don't have to do anything else. If you are concerned with having enough and making sure that your family will be okay, this might be a prudent time to gather some salt and stick it away just to make sure that you have the things you need no matter what comes along. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.